Good evening. You are tuned to KGB in Bozeman. We are Gallatin Valley Community Radio. You can find us at 95.9 on your FM dial, kgvm.org online. And we would like to thank our sponsors for tonight, SLAM, supporting local artists and musicians, and Columbo's Pizza and Pasta. They're at the corner of College and 10th, making fresh pizza and sandwiches with locally sourced ingredients. And we're in the Tune Factory tonight for the Local Musician Spotlight with Mike Beck. there for the show i don't know where to look right there maybe <laughs> any, any, uh, just uh, so glad to be here yeah we really went through it <laughs> anyway glad to be here i hope you're listening hi out there everybody on uh looking at it on youtube and people listening on the radio here's a song by the late great ian tyson who dear friend of mine took me in quite a few years ago and uh, mentored me and we became great friends up until the passing of him so anyway was high, it rained for a thousand miles, the Texans had revolvers when they came back from the war and the buffalo had gone away, the Comanche moon was waning, so it's come along boys and listen to my tale, yeah we're following the longhorn cow. Mr. Goodnight's trail, you see. Those cowboys were kind to us. We listened to their sad songs all the way to the far Saskatchewan. I am a drinker of the wind. I am the one who never tires. I love my freedom more than all these things. The Conquistador, Comanche, and the Cowboy, I carried them to glory. I am La Primera, Spanish Mustang, hear my story.
hide in the prior mountains yet in the early morning dawn a coyote dun walks beneath the morning star he became an outlaw in his blood it was watered some but the flame still burns into the new millennium I am a drinker of the wind I am the one who never tires I love my freedom more than all these things the conquistador Comanche the cowboy I carried them to glory I am La Primera Spanish Mustang hear my story Primera, Spanish Mustang, hear my story. Hard to beat a good horse song. Oh, man. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Um, let me see what I'll play for you. Oh, here, here's a song that um, <clears throat> I wrote after Merle Haggard passed away. I was pretty sad that he left and was like, oh, no. Don't leave us with Luke Bryant, please. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. And, uh, but he, uh, I got to be around him a few times. And uh, both times I was with Ramble and Jack Elliott when we were around him. And Merle was, uh, when I started to learn how to play the electric guitar, I'd go to the American Legion in Salinas on sun Sundays for jam day and play with those old guys it was it was great it was like school you know <laughs> we played you know statue of a fool and there stands a glass and please don't play a11 and my heart skips a beat and the california you know central valley okies you know and i was this was the salinas valley same thing they were second generation okies and they were great people and good players and each town had their you know, Fresno had their steel player and their lead guitar player and their fiddle player, you know. And, and there was all these clubs to support that action. Seven nights a week, there was bars going. I I got in at the tail end of that at a place in Seaside, California, called the Crow Club that was uh, a den of iniquity. And uh, <laughs> it was there forever. And I played five sets a night, five nights a week, and cowboy during the day and at the Rana Creek Ranch in Carmel Valley. I was glad I was younger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we had to play till a quarter to two, then I have to drive back to the ranch. But anyway, uh, <coughs> I'm kind of a rural nut, you know, I think he's one of them, maybe America's greatest songwriters. My, and he wrote things that were incredible. He's a great singer, a great band leader, a good guitar player good fiddle player all those roles are hard to fill and he did it all so <coughs> and he was born in a town called oildale california right across the kern river from bakersfield but this is called the son of the san joaquin <laughs> Sat down, wrote his last song. He 
Yeah, the son of the San Joaquin has done moved on. Stealing cars in roughneck bars forever, the running kind. Memories of a daddy who left too soon were never far behind. Well, he showed weakness and he showed strength. The plight of the working man disappearing in America at hard times across this land. Someday when things are good, I'm gonna leave you. That's just exactly what he did. You know, he kicked out the footlights one more time, sat down, wrote his last song. The son of the San Joaquin is done, moved on. was biting and there was a smile on his face and the fiddles and guitars picking around the shores of Shasta Lake and the lonesome sound of the boxcars rumbling down the track rainbow stew free bubble up a pretty woman to rub his back and someday when things are good I'm gonna leave you That's just exactly what he did You know he kicked out the footlights one more time Sat down, wrote his last song Yeah, the son of the San Joaquin Has done moved on Yeah, the Oki from the Scobie Has done moved on Yes, he has. Yeah, the son of the San Joaquin has done moved on. From Merle. Nice. If you're a Merle fan, you probably heard a little tips of the hat to Merle in there. <laughs> little song titles. Yeah. So, um, since I got this guitar strapped around me, I should play something else. Play another one. Um, it seems like it's all warmed up. It's Might getting as well. there. <laughs> it's getting warmed up. It's almost warm enough in here. For the music. <coughs> it's great. No, it's perfect. Yeah, um, the rainstorm maybe cooled it off a little bit. It was when I got here. It was raining like a cow peeing on a flat rock. It was raining. Ooh. It really was. It was coming down. So. Yeah. Down the rocky. So dark and so deep Off the side of burnt mountain So slippery and steep You're sounding sure-footed Wherever you go Yeah, your safety conveyance My little poncho Whether single or double Or leading a team Over highways and byways Or you're crossing a stream you're often in a fix, still willing to go. Yeah, whenever you're called on, a cow horse poncho. Yeah, you're 
good roping horse you never jerk down but tied to a steer you circle him round let him step o'er the twine down he will go yeah he savvy the business the little poncho one day on the awagi a hailstorm began and the cattle stampeded the horses all ran lightning it flickered and a cyclone did blow but to face the sweet music my little poncho poncho my pony poncho my pride poncho me amigo poncho i will ride from the mexican border across the texas yano to the yellowstone river i'll ride you poncho we'll cross the yellowstone river me and poncho poncho another horse song another horse song got yeah. a million of them <laughs> <laughs> So what do you want to ask me? Anything? Well, Bob. Um, so you're uh, you're getting ready to uh, depart on a little solo tour. Yep, solo tour. Uh, there's one uh, Mike Beck and the Bohemian Saints gig with the full band in Carmel, California, at the American Legion. But no, it's up on my website, MikeBeck.com, and we're all, all I'm going to be. I'm going through Oregon and then down into in Northern California, up north of the Bay Area, and then down to Monterey. I'm doing a house concert in Monterey, and the next night, the uh, the 10th of June, uh, Bohemian Saints are playing in Carmel, which is, you ever been to Carmel? It's kind of hoity-toity. It's a beautiful <laughs> little town, but it's very upscale. And in this town... Hardly anybody knows, but th there's an old, old, old American Legion post there with a hall. It's got a old hall next to it. And it's really cool. It was designed by kind of a famous architect down there that built the library back in the day in the 30s. So it's got big redwood beams in it and a big stone fireplace. And so some of these guys in the Legion now are fans of the Bohemian Saints, the band in California. And... Uh, so I don't want to play those bars. I, <laughs> bars is it's just because, you know, you look up, there's a, <coughs> you know, beer sign and a TV going, and you're just like, this is not, no, this is <laughs> not what, how you do it, you know. Yeah. And so I started r just four-walling it, renting halls. And uh, the dad did the same thing up in the, you know, Rock Scully was a good friend of mine, managed the dad from there with the Warlocks for about 26 years. And he lived in Monterey, and we were very close. You know, he's since passed, but he was telling me, yeah, you know, we just rented the Maritime Hall or whatever. So we would just, we just charge at the door, take the door, they get the bar, and everybody's happy. And they cleaned all the junk out of the hall and made us a little stage and hung some lights. Yeah. So I love playing there. So we're going to do that. And then I go down to play at the Fiscalini Ranch outside of Cambria, down close to Hearst Castle Inland, a old historic ranch. And then I go up to Nevada and, uh, on my way, start heading back towards Montana. I play in Smith Valley, Nevada, on the eastern slope of the Sierras, beautiful, south of Carson. And and then I the next night I'm at the Western Folklife Center in Elko, Nevada, where they have the National Cowboy Poetry Gallery. And then I'm back here. Back up here? Back up here. So you're you're here most of the time throughout the yeah, year now. Yeah, huh? I live here. Um, yeah. In an undisclosed location, the bunker. <laughs> when I did my live streams, I call it live from the bunker, you know. People say, where do you live? In the bunker. In the bunker. Um, but, uh, and then I'm playing up here with a band I have up here called Flapjack and my buddy Tom Ayers from Monterey that plays with the Saints is coming up. We're playing at the Attic on the 21st, and then the 22nd, we're doing a double header that night. We're opening for Midnight North at, in Music in the Meadow up in Big Sky, which is always fun. And then we move over to Tip's Bar and play a two-hour set there, which is the Bohemian Saints. is very. I'm trying to get the flapjacks to drop into that 
slot, you know. Yeah. To feel the West Coast thing. And because uh, we can play a song, me and, you know, and it can be very long <laughs> and very fun. And, you know, and it's just very loose. It's, it's uh, but Flapjack's fun. We got a pedal steel. Like Stanky's plays some pedal steel. And we can do that. And I, I'm going to be around most of the summer working with my horse and some other horses and and uh, playing around with Tessie Lou Williams. Oh, yeah. And um, we play most every Sunday at Pony Bar and a few little things in between. So I, I decided to make a lot more time for the horses this summer because it's a short season up here, man. Yeah. Especially last winter, I mean. Yeah, it, yeah. You know, it started it, awfully early and went pretty late. <laughs> it, <did. laughs> yeah. it was a long one. So that's that's the, uh, you know, the soliciting my gigs part of the show. Nice. Yes. Nice. And I get to ride my motorcycle around up here this summer, you know. And this is my mo this is a segue, Bob. We nice. call it in the business, yeah. Segue awesome. into my into my song I wrote. It's a love song for my motorcycle, which is a Triumph Bonneville. And there's just not many of them around up here. There's just Harleys and dirt bikes. <laughs> and so I, I always tell people it's a public service playing my or, or riding that Bonneville into Bozeman for errands. And I don't even have my helmet off, and some old guys coming up, and oh, I, you know, and he, in his eyes, I always say you could see every party he went to in college, every <laughs> beer he drank, every girl he kissed. He's coming back to him, and they're just, and it gets a little old after a while. But I mean, it does. It just happens everywhere because it's just kind of unique to see a British bike up here. Yeah. But the, the Triumph motorcycle uh, made in uh, Birmingham, England, which is their version of Motor City, Detroit. You know, uh, Triumph motorcycles are made there and all the, the old Amel carburetors and uh, Royal Enfields down the road, Redditch, Cal uh, Redditch uh, England, and uh, BSA, Norton, um, Vincent. They're all built right around there, you know. Yeah. And in Oxford, you know, the Morris Garage, the MG. Anyway, so this is called 650. Place the side cover gasket, but there's an oil puddle still. It's my Triumph 650. They named the Bonneville. It's British engineering, yeah, from 1968. Well, it'll get you there, but you might be late. It'll get you there, but you could be late. got the guts man it's got the style and if you can turn a wrench you get many a mile it's born in the midlands and assembled with pride those brits made a mighty fine ride they sure made a real good ride You know a bad joint in Oakland, but I really dug the band. In the shadows of the alley, they had knives in their hands. Guess a dance with his girlfriend, and she made a scene. So I jumped on that English machine. I lit it up like Steve McQueen. Cause it's got the guts, man, it's got the style And if you can turn a wrench, you get many a mile It's born in the Midlands and assembled with pride Those Brits made a mighty fine ride 
sure made a real good rhyme. As the world's flying by, I'm headed down the coastline to Big Sur and then. Well, I'm riding my old friend. Sure been a real good friend. Yeah, cause it's got the guts, man, and it's got the style. And if you can't turn a wrench, you get many a mile. It's born in the Midlands and assembled with pride. Those Brits made a mighty fine ride. You sure made a real good ride. Yes, it did. Maybe an Iron Horse song. <laughs> <laughs> Iron Horse song. I think, uh, who what was that band that did that? New Jersey band. Weren't they? On a, on a Steel Horse I Ride. What's that? Bon Jovi. Yeah, yeah. Bon Jovi, they did their Harley songs. So. Yeah. Uh, that's all covered. Then there's Steppenwolf, you know. Well, that was adapted, right? Steppenwolf, Born yeah. to be Wild. Yeah. From what? Did they use that in Easy Rider, the movie? I can't remember. I think so. A trivia question for all the listeners out there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, if you are just tuning in, this right. is the local musician spotlight here on KGV and Bozeman. And uh, if you are just tuning in and want to catch up on what's gone before, and you really should, um, we'll play this show again on Sunday evening at 6. Or if you're listening on the radio, you can tune into the Loken Productions YouTube channel and you can watch the video of it anytime. It's live streaming right now. It'll be available for you to watch whenever. I'd like to thank Pat Loken, who's the the engine on this crazy ride, and uh, he's <laughs> doing all the work, audio, video. He's got the live stream set up and um, gives us the place, sets everything up for us. So thanks very much to Pat for letting us do the show here. That's all right. Thanks, Pat. And Bob brought pizza. Pat has some s sodas and beers if you want. This is, a, this is a good place to hang on a Wednesday night. Not bad if it's raining that hard. Exactly. I'm not I'm driving. <laughs> it's a place to come in out of the rain anyway.
Well, Jack of Diamonds, Jack of Diamonds, I've known you from old. You robbed my poor pocket of silver and gold. Hey, yaha, hey, yaha, yaha, hey, yaha, yaha, ha, ha, ha. Pretty bird, yeah, she warbles, yeah, she flies, she never sings cuckoo till fourth day of July. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, how, 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 hey, yeah, hey, yeah. It's an old folk song. I think the guitar is maybe, I think it's warmed up by now. It's getting there. It sounds like it, I think you probably got it broken in about now. This guitar. I'm so lucky to have this guitar. <laughs> because uh, I wasn't even looking for a guitar when I got it. And um, uh, this guitar, you know, I grew up in California, so the Martin guitar, you know, the stuff I listened to, the Buffalo Springfield and the Neil Young and Stephen Stills and Clarence White, and it's all on the Martin guitar. And um, so that's, that sound is sort of in my DNA, and this this is a special mm -hmm. one. It really has that sound, you know. Yeah. And um, I love it. I think sometimes they find you. 
Like, what's that Guy Clark song about the guitar? <laughs> right, yeah. exactly. Well, this did call it, call me out. It spoke to me. Shh, come here, play me. You know, it's another story I tell sometimes. But <laughs> let me play a Tyson song, Ian Tyson. Wonderful. This is one of my most favorite songs of his. I asked him about how he wrote this, you know, and um, he said, well, Mike, Sylvia and I were living in the Drake Hotel in Grants Village, you know, this was like 1960 or 61. And he said, I went out in the morning to get coffee and a paper, and I wrote it in 20 minutes walking back. And so when he came into the, to the room at the Drake Hotel, he said Sylvia was in the bathtub, but she was not taking a bath. There was no water in there. She had all her clothes on, and she was writing. And he said it was the only place you could hang out and write where the cockroaches wouldn't get you. <laughs> <laughs> and so he said, uh, I wrote a song. And she said, really, while you were out, I wrote one, too. And that's when she wrote, you were on my mind. <laughs> you know, when I woke up this morning, you were on my mind. And that's a, bless her heart, that's a great song. And and Ian wrote this one, and he he was raised in B.C. He grew up in uh, uh, Victoria, um, uh, Vancouver area. And um, you couldn't you couldn't write this unless you, you, you're from there. You play against the dealer Before you know That the odds won't ride with you You'll never leave your woman alone Your 
friends around to steal her cause she'll be gambled lost like summer wages yeah the years are gambled and lost like summer Wow, what a chorus. Yeah. The whole song with the chorus. He's telling me, Mike, bring me, bring me, I'll write the chorus. That's my, <laughs> I'm the Babe Ruth of writing choruses. That was his superpower, huh? God, he was, yeah, that was his one of them. And Bridge. He was good with the bridge, too. <laughs> How are we doing? You want me to play another one right now? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, about 20 minutes. Oh, we got 20 minutes left? Yeah. You guys are ish. You guys are working me. Okay, this is speaking of Tyson. Here's a song that me and him wrote together. About uh, this Western artist. Well, he was a Renaissance man, Joe Mora. And he did beautiful work. He's becoming more known. He died in 1947 in Monterey. He was. Uh, amazing guy, J O Joe Mora, M O R A. Look him up. His work is phenomenal. And he did he, a Renaissance man. He did dioramas, jewelry, wrote some books, illustrated them. He wrote, spoke fluent Spanish. He was a cowboy. He is, um, in 1906, he rode the Portola Trail by himself, you know. I mean, that's all the way from the following the missions. You know, Procera started up the coast. California, San Diego, ended up in San Francisco and uh, up north of there, I think Santa Rosa, that area, there might be some missions up there. And he wrote the definitive book on the hide and tallow trade when Spain had California and they were raising cattle there for the hides and the tallow, you know. Just, I mean, but he illustrated them and, and because he spoke fluent Spanish, he got to know the last of the vaqueros and he got the stories from him, and he all those sh different ways they rope with riatas. It's just hard to explain Joe Mora, but I took him and showed him a bunch of his artwork and built the sarcophagus that Ina Proceras buried in at Carmel Mission and this bronze thing. It's just amazing. Best known maybe for a little small part of one of his big posters of the Salinas Rodeo is Sweethearts of the Rodeo, which was on the cover of the Birds record, Sweethearts of the Rodeo. <laughs> and... Um, so I showed Ian this stuff. I said, I want to write a song about this guy. And Ian got it. He got the romance of it, you know. And uh, California has a deep, very rich, very romantic history of cattle and horses. Because when they built those missions, you know, they were actually headquarters for ranches. I mean, you know, this Catholic Church knows how to make money, man. They still do, <laughs> yeah. and so they were had their own brand for each one, and and so they now they had all these cattle, and they enslaved the the, the natives to uh, you know build the missions, and then they needed them to run those cattle, so they sent back to Spain for these vaqueros who had been cowboying for a couple hundred years. They had some stuff figured out. They came over there and. And that was the beginning of that whole beautiful scene. So this is called In Old California. Let's see. Filters the redwood and oak tree 
It's the Santa Lucia standing there. And vaqueros trot into the plaza. And the guitars they build and they sway. Horses and rawhide and silver slide and spin in a timeless display. Joe Mora told the story, coloring the glory and the Californios rode through dapple green and gold. I, 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 oh, California. Scars frame faces of brown. Dance at the Mission Fiesta. They laugh and sing and they twirl round and round. And the ancient roar off the ocean. And the grapes they ripen on the vine. Foggy royals and canyons. There's freighters anchored off the coastline. Joe Mora told the story, coloring the glory and the Californios rode through dapple green and gold. I, 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 old California. Very evocative imagery. Yeah. Tyson, he wrote the chorus and the melody. Anything else you want to talk about? Oh, if you want to maybe play another song or so, we've got, okay. we got about 10 minutes. So. How much time about we got? About 10, yeah. 10. I got a, I got a 10 minute song. All right. <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, I sure appreciate you guys having me down here. This is a lot of fun hanging with you guys and just playing some songs. And 
I can think of a lot worse things to do with a Wednesday evening than sit and listen to some songs. Yeah, it's some fun. This is a song from the area I grew up in in California. Um, and everybody likes to piss on California. I'm used to it. I don't care. <laughs> and if they all move up here, then I can go back home. But uh, it's beautiful where I grew up, and it's got a deep ranching history, and and it's right on the coastline. It's northern, north central, near Big Sur. And this song takes place down in Big Sur, and it talks about a little town called Halone. And it's sort of inland, you know. It's over the Nascimento summit, and it's... Uh, um, talks about Monterey and okay. My name is Lon Hanel de Castro. My father was a Spanish grandee. And I won my wife in a card game. To hell with those lords over the sea. Cause the South Coast is a wild coast and lonely. You might win in a game at Hello. But line still rules the Barranca. And the man there is always alone. Well, in my youth, I had a Monterey homestead. Creeks, valleys, orchards, all mine. And I built me a neat little shanty. And I roofed it and I floored it with pine. I had me a bronco, he was a buckskin. Like a bird, he flew over the trail. I'd ride out 40 miles every Friday for some grub and to pick up my mail. Well, I sat in a card game up in Halong. Played against a hombre named Juan. And after I'd taken all his money, he stacked all against his daughter Dawn. Dawn. Well, I picked up the ace and I'd won her. that been down by my knees rose up to my throat in a hurry like a warm summer's day she was sweet well he opened the door to the kitchen called the girl curse say it take her god damn you you want her she's yours now for better or worse well her arms had to tighten all around me as we rode the trail up from the south not a word did I get from her that day Nor a kiss from her pretty red mouth Well, 
we soon reach the valley at twilight. Stars twinkling out over the coast. She soon loved the valley and the orchards. But I knew that she loved me the most. That was a gay and happy winter. We carved on a cradle of pine in that neat little shanty. We sat around by the fire there. And I sang with that gay wife of mine. Cause the South Coast is a wild coast and lonely. You might win in a game that long. But a lion still rules the barranca. And the man there is always alone. One night I got hurt in a landslide. Crushed hip and twice broken bone. She saddled her pony like lightning and rode off for a doctor in Halong. The lion screamed the paparanka. Bucky bolted and fell on the slide. My young wife lay dead in the moonlight. My heart died that night with my bride. Well, they buried her out in the orchard. They carried me on up to Halon. Now I'm an old broken man with these memories. I'm an old broken man all alone. Well, the cabin still stands on the hillside. to the rain and the wind and I'm living up here in Halong and I never can go back there again cause the south coast is a wild coast and lonely you might win in a game at Halong But line still rules the barranca. And a man there And a man there is always alone. South Coast. Nice. Well, I want to thank you very much for coming in tonight, Mike, and always great to talk with you and listen to you. Thanks so. for having me, you guys. Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Pat, over there, running the cameras and the sound. <laughs> yeah, doing all the things. Appreciate it. Glad to be here, and uh, uh, everybody tune in, and we'll see you down the road somewhere, down the trail. All right. Thank you.